That word will heal you. That word will set you free. That word will, we, we, we attend to every case that needs to be attended to in the name of Jesus. The Lord Almighty will grant you wings to fly above all powers and principalities in the name of Jesus. The Lord will grant you wings to fly. Even as we have just two months left this, this year, this is the last Sunday. And tomorrow will be the last day. Then we have November and December. Above all evil that might be over overing over the, re the remaining of the year in the name of Jesus. Concerning each and every one of us, all our children will be divinely protected in the name of Jesus. Ourselves and all our loved ones will be divinely protected in the name of Jesus. As the Lord live it, <laughs> they, we, we, no matter how small evil is, no matter how irrelevant evil is, we will not come near our dwelling places in the name of Jesus. Amen. We will not walk into any evil in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. We will not walk into bandits in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every plan of the enemy concerning us, we call to not right now. We say shall not stand. We say shall not come to pass in the name of Jesus. Every bad dream we cancel, we say shall not happen in the name of Jesus. The power that raised Jesus from dead will come into us and all our family members and keep us alive in the name of Jesus. As we go into your word this uh, 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 this time, Holy Spirit, take over in the name of Jesus. Amen. Give us understanding Amen. and make us doers of your words in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. And I had myself behind the cross. I say, Holy Spirit, come and speak to your children. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen, amen and amen. amen. Today, we it is five weeks this month. And uh, five Sundays, we've been talking about um, nations will call you blessed. We can never exhaust that topic because when you say uh, God bless you, it covers every area of our lives. But today, I want to talk about one very key thing that if you are, we cause your blessing to be multiplied. If you have, we cause your blessing to multi be multiplied. And that is the word integrity. You have to be a person of integrity. If we look at the Bible passage we read, hallelujah, that Bible passage in the book of Psalm, chapter 15, all verses there, we see that if I don't preach, and I just go ahead and read this um. Bible passage, it is good enough for us to just go home. He say the, the question is, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Le because my brother read from uh, King James, let me read from another version, contemporary English version. It says, who may worship the Lord? Who may stay in God's temple? Or live on the holy mountain of the Lord. Only those who obey God. And do as they should. They speak the truth. And don't spread gossip. They treat others fairly. And don't say cruel things. They hate worthless people. But show respect for all who worship the Lord. And they keep their promises no matter what they cost. They lend their money without charging interest. And they don't take bribes to hurt the innocent. Now, to link this to our month of um, your nation shall call you blessed, says those who do these things will always stand firm. For you to be blessed, it means you will stand firm. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, what is integrity? It is all what I have said. But let us use um, layman's language. He says, integrity is an act of being honest. Honest. We all know what honesty means. No need for 
me to start telling us and uh, honest means that what you say and uh, what, what what you 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 say is what you are doing what you are you are saying the truth and having strong moral principles you are a person of character people that come across you people that work with you people that have had dealings with you can say this is so so so, so persons character and uprightness the bible passage we read said he verse 1 no verse 2 he that walk uprightly and walk righteousness you do the right thing always even if it is hard you do the right thing always even if people are abusing you are you the only one? Iya Jesu, Otigbesori, and Ko. But you tell the truth in your heart. If this was Sunday school or Bible study, I would have said, what does it mean to tell the truth in your heart? It means that whatever you say in your mouth is what is in your heart. Too. That is honesty also. For instance, you see me, I'm wearing um, clothes that is not nice. And because you want to be nice, you say, ah, I love that dress, it's so beautiful. But inside your mind, you are saying, this woman didn't look at the mirror before leaving the house. Why would she dress like this? That is the, uh, the definition. You are a person of character. You are a honest person. Your character is strong. It doesn't matter. You are not a chameleon. You are not a chameleon who chooses to take the color of whatever is standing by. You are you. Someone can trust you and give you money. And say, please keep this money for me. <laughs> if... I say, please give this money. Keep this money for me. And you need to use the money. You know you will get it to pay me back when I ask. If you are a person of integrity, you will tell me. You know, I have to use this money. I will, when do you need it? It will be ready by then. I remember when I, the first time I heard this sermon of integrity. The pastor that preached said, if I come to you, I give you, I don't know if there are 500 Naira notes in Nigeria. Okay, 100, 100 Naira notes. 50. And I say, please help me keep this money. When I come back to get my money, if I see 50, 50 Naira notes in it, something has happened to that money. Even though my money is complete, but that wasn't the money I gave you. Another thing is like, as a man of God, as a pastor, as a leader, if we say, please, church, contribute money. We want to buy fan. After the church members have contributed money, and then somebody came to you after church, you know, some people don't let, want everybody to know. Don't worry, mommy, don't worry, daddy, I will buy the fan. People already contributed money. We are not going to give them the money back. But we can say, oh, we also need cheer. Brethren, somebody gave us uh, the, the, what is it called? The fan. So now we have another need. We know we needed cheer. So we will use the money you contributed to buy cheer. Don't let it happen that you go and buy chair. I mean, someone of integrity. And then the, the person that bought fan will say, ah, the pastor didn't buy two fans now. It's only one fan we talked about, and that's the fan. I'm the, one. the person that says he doesn't want anybody to hear, we go and be te telling other people, I'm the one that bought the chair. So where, fan, where is the money? And then suddenly, pastor buy a car. A year later. Oh, that's the money we contributed for fun. Even though 
that will not buy the, the car. So that is why integrity is very key. What are the attributes of integrity? I already said it. You are dependable. People can rest on you. They can, they, they, you don't, you know, when, some, when you are dealing with somebody that is dependable, you don't have to go and say, oh, yeah, bring paper and, and buy, buy room. Let us be writing it down. The, you have been proved and tested that you will be who you say you are. You are loyal. You are honest. You have good judgments. Because a person of integrity before taking steps will look and is a person of respect. You will not see anybody going to talk about Baba Deboya and say, ah, want to call Waje. They might say something else, so and uh, you didn't and uh, when uh, we say we should pray, didn't pray. He said we should break Nigeria, I didn't. But they will never. That respect is there because he's a person of integrity who is open. If, if people can see. Oh, what, Mire? This is what I have. This is how it is. And so on and so forth. We have to be very, uh, very, very careful because those little, little things are stains that can tarnish our clothes. Sometimes we didn't do anything wrong. But because we are not open, can cause that, uh, that uh, rubbish to be on somebody's clothes. So I said, you have to keep your promises no matter what. That is another big thing. If I tell, if you, somebody, if you tell somebody, I will meet you at so 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 place. That I am praying that God will make me hundred percent on that. Because some people I will tell you I will call you back, and immediately I say I will call you back. After a while I forget. But if I don't call you back, it means I'm not a person of integrity because the possibility is there. The person is waiting for that call. So he said, no matter what, if you promise, you have to fulfill it. If you are not fulfilling it, you should let the person know. I remember when I was, when we were, I mean, a long time ago, when there was no phone like that in Nigeria. Somebody would say, Lara, go and wait for me in Yaba, 10 o'clock in the morning. And then you go and stay in Yaba from 10 till 7 in the, P in the evening. Because you say, maybe when I go now, she will come. There's no way to call. ask him, how, how, where are you? And then you see the person sometime later. I say, ah, in fact, I didn't even come. You know, I had to do something. And you have said. So that is why the Bible is saying, Ceteris parables, all things being equal. When you say something, you have to fulfill it. So what is the importance of integrity? Number one, a child must be like he is or her father. Our father is a promise-keeping God. In the book of Kings 9, 4 to 5, he was reminding uh, David's son that if you do as I have promised your bro daddy, his daddy was dead. As I promised, I'll bring it to pass. Imagine since when Bible has been written. If you stand on his word, it does not change. He says, I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Abundant life he gives unto you if you hold on to him. He says, I will supply all your needs according to your riches, my riches in glory. That is what he does. Only if you don't believe his word. Our father is the God of integrity. Faithful father. He never fails. So we have to be like our father. Number two. Importance of integrity. Your future as an individual depends on your integrity. 
your I don't know if that makes sense. Your future depends on your integrity. People that meet you today, how you deal with them, determines how they will deal with you if they meet you later in life. Maybe they are talking about you somewhere. You say, ah, Tani. And they are planning to give you a very good position. No button. Yeah. Why did you say that, sir? The last time he was telling me good money, it was night. Job done. I so much, an individual, a person, I'm not God, believe in people of integrity. If I notice you are a person of integrity, I will walk with you miles without looking back. But the day I see that uh, little, little lies, little, little addition, oh, then I will watch before I walk. Your future depends on it. The way you treat people depends on what you get. What people, you know, Bible says, give it shall be given unto you. Good measure, press down. It is not in giving. When I say give, it doesn't have to be money. Give love, give honesty, give dependability. And that is what you get in return. Number three. Everyone around you will trust you and they will want to associate with you and they will want to help you. If you are not a person of integrity, when you come and say, yeah, 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 they will say, oh, mm, oh to be ready. he has brought his lie again. But if you are a person of integrity, if they hear, yeah, they say, ah, oh, he doesn't do that. They are willing to help you because they know if you say there is a problem, there is a problem. That you will not cry wolf if there is no danger. What is the importance of integrity? If you are a leader, you will get people following you. Even people that look at uh, uh, um, the man called Daniel. The people were his enemies. When they were trying to look for how to get him in trouble, they knew for sure that he will not put his hand in any bad thing. The only thing is if you tell him not to touch his, I mean, not to pray to his God. They could say that about him. What is your character? Because as, like I said earlier, you, you are a leader. The, somebody, you are lying to this person. Some people, they love to do ruling by, um, how do they call it? Control. Control. Yeah? Uh, control by division. Controlling by division. After a while, two of them will talk and say it's pastor or it's a mommy that said that. They... So who are you? You have to be a person of character. Even if you are hard, people that will follow you will follow you because they know it is the truth she says always. And then you get more follower. And when people are following you because you're a person of integrity, they follow you, people will be saying, Kilo, they will look for you. But it's not so. It's because they know whatever you say can be trusted. Proverbs 2, 20 to 20. Proverbs 22, I'm sorry, 2, 20 to 21 says, A man of integrity cannot be moved easily. Because you are a man of integrity when they bring, eh, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, you will sit back, you know. I said one of them is that you have good judgments. You will look at it that, mm -mm, I'm not going to be, you don't push me. I'm not going to be pushed. You sit down, you pray about it. You make the right decision. So you can't be moved easily. A man of integrity is always safe. You have nothing to hide. Proverbs 10, 9. I'm looking at time. That's why I'm not reading. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 9. Look at it. You have nothing to hide. You are not afraid. 
if, 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 if somebody was angry with me one day, he said, Bubu, I should be any moment too. I just laughed because I don't have anything to hide. I do not, I do not have any secrets that people shouldn't hear because I will not do it if I know people should not hear. Yeah, sometimes you have your personal issues. You don't want to tell everybody in the world. But that doesn't mean that you, 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 you have lied, you have stolen Kineko, and then you are afraid they will tell. The children of a man of integrity is already blessed. Proverbs 3, 21 to 26, Proverbs 27. You can look at it later. A man of integrity can be predicted. You know this person. No, he won't do that. But when person have no character, anything goes. So you will know that person is everywhere. If they say he killed, they say, mm, no possible. He lied, yeah, no possible. There are certain things you will tell my children, um, mommy, you say, no, my mom won't do that. And there are people that know me enough that know there are certain things I won't do. That is who we should be. You can be trusted. A person of integrity is honorable. A person of integrity is righteous. God vindicates a person of integrity. Psalm 26, 1-3. If you, you are a person of integrity and people are trying to model you, there is a way God will fight for you and let people know, no. You will just find somebody say, no, that's not true. It's not this person. No, he didn't do it. And also, if you are a person of integrity, because you sit down to, to, to consider before you take steps, God will continually give you wisdom. Show me a person of integrity and I will show you a wise person. Look at um, that in, um, I think it's Proverbs 2, 6 to 8. A person of integrity will make it to heaven at last. It will definitely make it to heaven. Because... For you to be a person of integrity and be able to stand by it, you are a child of God. But if you are not a child of God, another time has come. Because the Holy Spirit makes it easy for you to be a person of integrity. It, when you are going the wrong way, he will tell you. And if you are the one that obey him, you know he's saying, don't do Brethren, give your life to Jesus. Without him, you are nothing. In conclusion, let your yes be yes. And let your no be no. Let people around you, your children, know that you are a person of integrity. Don't be the parent that says she bought more money. Um, um, mommy, can I have whatever you say? Yes, yes, I'll buy it for you tonight. Ah, tomorrow. I will buy. You know in your mind you are not buying it for that child. Tomorrow again. Another tomorrow. Tomorrow, you will keep deceiving that child. You are not a person of integrity. There was a time... A child was argue, having an argument with the mom. And the child said, my mom is always lying. Abba. She was telling the truth. Oh. Who are you? Your children should know. Your spouse should know. Telling the truth always. And say what you mean. And mean what you say. Say what you mean. Mean what you say. Brethren, I want us to look into our lives right now and 
appraise ourselves. Year is going to an end. We have two more months. Have I been a person of integrity this year? Am I worthy of God's blessing this year? It is never late for us to change. Because there is an end. Jesus might come at any time. If Jesus comes today, if, if the trumpet doesn't sound yet, he might call any of us home at any time. We will not die young in Jesus' name. But we should be ready. If you are not a child of God who lives right, if you are not a broken Christian, you will not make it when the trumpet sound. Don't let anybody deceive you that uh, once, once, uh, once uh, saved, forever saved, you have to walk your, your, your uh, salvation with fear and trembling. And you have to be deliberate about being a person of integrity. Talk to God, brethren, that God should help you. That the Lord should help you. The Holy Spirit should take over. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. And so, Father, we thank you for your word today. We pray for you. Make us doers of your word. Because we'll make it to heaven at last. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen.